Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be going over how to create a Godot project and script it with F Sharp. So to do this, first we're gonna be talking about the requirements you need to actually follow through with this tutorial. Uh, next, we're gonna be going over how to actually create a Godot project and configure it such that you can actually run F Sharp. And finally, uh, we're gonna be ending with showing you what the scripts with F Sharp look like and how you can actually validate that your project setup is working as expected. So we're gonna be going over a lot of configuration steps um, and a good amount of code where if you kind of get one bit wrong, the whole thing is gonna fail. Um, and so I have the full source code available here on my website for you to copy and paste. And I also have a GitHub repo with all of the, basically the finished project uh, together. So you can kind of just download it and run it um, if you don't wanna go through uh, this full tutorial itself. Um, so either way, uh, all this code's available here at the link if you wanna reference it as we go on. Um, and with that said, we'll go ahead and actually do the tutorial. Okay, so there's gonna be a few things that you need if you actually wanna follow along um, with this tutorial. And the first is actually gonna be Godot, and we specifically need the Godot mono version. The reason we need this is because it's gonna allow us to uh, build and run C Sharp. Um, and implicitly, this is gonna give us access to .NET, which we'll need, need for F Sharp. Now, the second thing we'll need is the .NET SDK. Um, and the reason we'll need this is because it's gonna give us access to the command line uh, utility .NET, which we'll be using throughout. So assuming you have these requirements um, all installed, we can go ahead and start creating our Godot project uh, that can run F Sharp. Now, I first wanted to start off with exactly how this is gonna work from a high level, because I think this will give some context for why we're taking the steps we're taking. So. As I mentioned earlier, Godot Mono um, can run C Sharp out of the box. And implicitly, this means that it's gonna be able to run uh, .NET underneath. Now, Godot doesn't really know about F Sharp, and we're not gonna be able to um, directly reference F Sharp within Godot, but we can use the fact that C Sharp and F Sharp both can run on .NET, both can run uh, via CLR, to enable Godot to access F Sharp via C Sharp. Now, I know this might sound a little bit like complicated and stuff, but I assure you that once you've got the project set up, it's really not that bad. Um, but this is how it's gonna work from a high level and we'll kind of walk through each of these steps uh, one by one. So first thing we need to do is actually create a Godot C Sharp project. Um, and I'm gonna be doing this on the side to kind of show you how it works, but these are, these are the basic steps you have to follow. First, we're gonna create our you know, Godot project. And then the second thing we're gonna do is add a C Sharp script to it. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna force uh, Godot to actually create a CS proj, which we'll need later so we can actually um, reference our F Sharp project. Okay, so here's a simple Godot project that I just created. Um, basically, it's just the base scene and I've chosen the 3D um, setup. So there's a spatial and then I've just added a, a node here. Um, I've then attached a simple script to this node um, and I will double click this so you can see what's happening in the node. So um, basically, it's it's just a normal node uh, with just the this normal boilerplate on it. And the only thing I've done is inside this ready function, uh, I've just said, I want you to print this to console. Um, and so theoretically, when you run this, um, it should output to console. We can see that it's building here. And uh, here's the project. And here is the actual output in our console. So. This is you know, the base version of our C-sharp running. We know that C-sharp is working, so we can kind of continue with creating our project. Okay, so now that we have uh, our working Godot project with C-sharp, we can go ahead and get started on our F-sharp project. So the way that I recommend doing this is to create a new directory within your Godot project, specifically for your F-sharp scripts. This is gonna keep it organized um, and kind of help sure that all of our dependencies and references are working correctly. Once we have that new subdirectory working, um, we're actually gonna create our new class library um, with F Sharp in there. And this is gonna be that F Sharp project that we're gonna reference from our C Sharp. And I'll show you kind of how this works. Okay, so what I've done here is I've navigated through my file system to just kind of open my Godot project up in VS Code. Um, I think VS Code is way better for editing and running things on the command line, so that's why I did it. Um, but you can use whatever editor you want. And just wanted to show you that here is the actual code that I just showed you run that prints to console. And then here's that CS proj that we actually can't see from the Godot editor, but does exist. And this is you know why we, we created this CS script um, in the first place. Um, but now let's go along with the tutorial. So the first thing we wanna do is make a new directory. And I like to call this um, directory scriptsfs or something like that. And then so we can kind of CD in there. And then we can run the .NET CLI to actually make it create this project. 
So here we have scripts fs, and if we look in it, we see that here's an fs proj and a little library file for us. Okay, so now we have you know our Godot project that can run uh, our C sharp project, and then we have a separate F sharp project. But the problem is that they don't know how to talk to each other, and so right now we can't actually call F sharp from Godot. And there's two things that we're gonna need to do to actually make this work together. The first one is we need to actually modify the FS proj, which tells F sharp how to actually build so that it matches um, the CS proj. And the reason we need to do this is so that both our C sharp and our F sharp is going to be building towards the same kind of runtime so that they can actually compile and run together. Now, once we've done that so that they can kind of build together, we actually need to add a reference from the CS proj to the FS proj, basically so that the C sharp knows that it needs to build the F sharp in order for itself to be able to run. Now let's go through this step by step. Okay, so here on the left, I've got that CS proj file, and here on the right, I've got the FS proj file. And so the first thing that we wanna change is this SDK field. So we're just gonna take Godot directly, it's uh, .NET SDK. And this is useful because uh, this will, should also give us access to all of the Godot internals so that we can call the libraries directly. The next thing that we'll wanna change is this target framework side over here. So um, you know, Godot is pretty far behind in .NET, but we, if we want to use Godot, we kind of have to go back there. And so these are what's worked for me. Um, these are the only ones that I've got to change. Um, but just note that probably as Godot upgrades to different versions of .NET, um, as it upgrades to different versions of its own SDK, uh, these numbers might change. So the most important thing is not these exact numbers, just that your CS proj and FS proj are matching. Okay, so we both have the CS proj and the FS proj targeting the same runtime, so that they should be able to be compatible and build to the to the same thing. Now uh, we had to actually add the reference here, and so here's the command I used, which is just the .NET add reference command. Um, now your actual directory is probably going to be different than mine, so just do whatever you're using, um, and this should add the reference for you. Uh, if you've done this correctly, you should see um, something in your CS proj that looks like this, which is basically saying, hey, I depend on FS proj, go build it. Okay, so now we have our C sharp, uh, we have our F sharp, the C sharp relies on the F sharp. So theoretically, this should just work. Um, but as in all my videos, I think we should always validate that what we did actually ends up doing what we think it does. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing in this section. Now, there is a little bit of boilerplate that is involved um, when we want to actually run F sharp with Godot. Um, and the reason is because Godot doesn't actually know that our F sharp exists. It's not really built right now to know that. Um, and so we need to actually set it up so that Godot only knows about C sharp, but we can actually run our F sharp from our C sharp. And so basically, when we want to run an F sharp script, what we're going to do is we're going to create an F sharp script that has all of our logic in it. Um, and then for each F sharp script that we want to be run through Godot, what we're going to do is create a C sharp script, which basically acts as a wrapper um, and is going to be attached to you know our Godot actual editor or a node in there, so it, it gets called. Um, but it's just going to inherit directly from the F sharp script, and so in this way, we're in implicitly basically calling F sharp directly from Godot, but there is a little bit of boilerplate involved. Um, that was a lot of me rambling. Uh, so let me just show you what this looks like. So here's an example F sharp script that we might have. Um, this is a simple print FS, basically doing the exact same thing our earlier C sharp script did. Um, it just kind of prints to console. Now we can see that um, we can use Godot directly. It's opening Godot. And then we just have this simple type, which is basically a class um, that inherits node. So the basic you know, C sharp stuff, just in F sharp land. And then we're overriding ready, and we're just calling um, this print. Now we can't reference this directly in Godot. But what we can do is create a C sharp kind of wrapper or placeholder um, that basically has nothing in it. Um, all it's saying is, hey, I'm a C-sharp class, and I inherit directly from this F-sharp, uh, which basically will just make the F-sharp actually run. So let me go over to my editor and kind of show you how this works in practice. OK, so here is my project open again. Um, and here are those files that I was showing you earlier. So here's our simple print in F-sharp, uh, which is basically just doing the exact same thing as C-sharp, but just uh, in F-sharp. And then it's going to print F-sharp out here. And then here's our little wrapper, which is the C-sharp that's actually going to be attached to Godot. And it's going to just say it wants to run simple print FS. Um, now, a few gotchas here that I you know, recommend you, you taking a look at. So 
Uh, F Sharp does not just automatically import files. So please remember every time you add an F Sharp file to go to your FS proj and directly uh, tell it that you need to compile it here. Um, the other thing is you might notice uh, that F Sharp like has a lot of squigglies or something. Uh, just make sure that you have the Ionide um, extension from VS Code if that's what you're using or whatever the Ionide extension is for your editor. Um, that should make things go a lot smoother. Um, so with so with that, if we come back over to our editor, um, basically it's the same thing we had earlier. I've just added a new node here, and this node is directly uh, referencing our FS holder right here. And if I just run it, we see that we get both the C sharp and the F sharp print here, which means that our FS is running. Now I just wanted to call attention to one thing. So here's our scripts FS folder, and you can see that it just does not pick up F sharp files. Um, and that's kind of why we have to do this whole wrapper thing. Okay, so that was a lot of context switching, um, a lot of different code, a lot of me just showing you different kind of editors and stuff. Um, so again, if you just want the source code to copy and paste it into your own project, or you just want the full project that you can kind of just get started with, uh, here's the link for that. I'll have the link in the description. Um, so hopefully that gets you started with Godot and F Sharp. Now, if you have any questions um, about Godot, F Sharp, anything like that, let me know, and I'll try to answer them, especially if there's anything you want to see. Uh, this kind of helps me decide what I'm going to make next. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, so here's, here's me on the socials if you want to connect. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.